Hey everyone, welcome back to Unreal Golf. My name is Sandro, and today I'm going to be giving you a thorough tutorial on how to download and use GS Pro uh, with a device like the Rapsodo MLM2 Pro. So I have the Rapsodo MLM2 Pro. I run the Springbok connector, and I have for over, well, almost a year now. And uh, so I just got a new PC, and I've actually already done the setup, but I'm going to walk you through everything step by step, um, talk about some common mistakes that I see and troubleshooting that I see uh, constantly in these online forums and Facebook groups and help you successfully be able to run GS Pro. If you're a new user, welcome to GS Pro. It is the best software that you can get out there for the money. Follow along, skip through if you need to, but I will be thorough and hopefully answer any questions that you have before you have them. If you do have additional questions, just let me know in the comments and I'll do my absolute best to answer them. Uh, but let's get right into this. And I also wanted to mention that I'm filming this on Christmas Day, hence the uh, outfit here, but got a little bit of extra time. And I know there's a lot of new GS Pro users out there. And so the community needs this and I'm putting it together for you today. All right, so this is a brand new PC. The only thing I've downloaded on here is OBS so that I can record my screen. I don't have GS Pro downloaded. I don't have uh, the Springbok connector downloaded yet. So if you are starting from scratch, you're going to want to get GS Pro, obviously. Now there's the option to buy it for $250. And I will mention that if you're running the Springbok connector, you're going to need to download the Open API option that you see down here. Um, even if you have the Garmin R10 or if you have one of these other devices that work with the connector, but you're going to use the Springbok connector, you will need to use the Open API. Not to worry if you've selected the wrong one, uh, you can still go through and actually change your license type later on in GS Pro. So if I were to buy it new, this is where I would be going, um, but I already have GS Pro. Uh, their website can be kind of confusing on where to actually find the download if you need to download it fresh uh, but it's actually in the frequently asked questions scroll on down to the bottom but right here i lost the download link where can i download gs pro is where you want to go to download that installer and it is a really quick download uh, especially on this new computer this is a 4070 super graphics card so really really excited to run this new pc by the way so you're just going to install GS Pro. Nothing crazy here. It's a really quick download. I just download it to its default location. And uh, it might ask you for some permissions. Go ahead and accept that. Agree. And the first time you run it, it's going to have to uh, download any updates that it has. You can see just downloading a quick update here and uh, you will need your GS Pro license key if you've just purchased it. I had trouble finding mine the last time I downloaded this because I reset my PC one other time and now I have this new one so I have to find it again but I'm going to show you how you can find it in your email and this is where you can actually change your aspect ratio so this is really cool about GS Pro. So now if I go to the highest here 1920 by 1080 it's going to be a full screen it's going to fit my monitor perfectly, but it might not fit my projector perfectly. So you want to tweak um, these settings here. You can also go with windowed mode, um, but there's going to be different aspect ratios that can help you fit this to your projector, uh, to your impact screen perfectly. So um, I have different options on this PC now, but typically I was running this 1600 by 1200 and it worked perfectly for my projector. So I'm going to have to mess with these a little bit later. But if you run windowed mode, and then you hit alt enter it will put it on full screen mode and get rid of your toolbar and get rid of everything else and it'll look really clean okay now the first time you load this up only the first time it's going to ask you for your license key since mine already was emailed to me months ago i have to go back into my email and try to find it um, but quick tip here you can just search gs pro and you should find it. The actual email address you're looking for is support at gsprogolf.com. So look for an email from them and you'll find your license key. 
Okay, now make sure you select Open API, and you're going to get this API Connect window. You need that API window to come up, and I'll show you exactly how that works with the Springbok connector in just a moment here. Now, I will leave links in the description for the connector, but I didn't happen to have the link, but it is just as easy as typing into your search bar or Google Springbok connector, and it comes up right away. Right here on the right hand side, releases is where you're going to find the download. But there's also a lot of good information in here. Thank you, by the way, to the developer of this. I highly recommend donating because this was released for free. But without it, Rapsodo users would not be able to play on GS Pro. So you can look through here if you want to look through common questions. Uh, there's Q&As, there's polls, there's a lot of information about all the updates, things they've released. So um, come in here if you want to get some information on webcam putting. So we're going to download this newest version right here, which right now just happens to be 1.04.16, and it's going to be a zipped file. So come on up to your downloads, and you're going to want to extract this. And you need all of these files in one folder or location. So it's really important. Um, I like to put mine right on the desktop. So I'll come on over and start a new folder and just name it connector and that way I can find it every single time. So now I'm gonna come back into uh, my extraction that I was doing and I'll come into the desktop and this new folder that we just made. And so now it's gonna be very easy to find because I'll need to run this every time I run GS Pro. Keep in mind too, if you have antivirus software, it might try and block this because it's an unknown uh, install and so you might have a little bit of trouble with this. Personally, I don't use McAfee since this is a new PC. I'm going to have to go through and disable it. But what you can also do if you don't want to disable your antivirus is you can actually put this connector in GS Pro or whatever on the list of allowed programs. And so that way it won't block it in the future. You probably could just run this as an administrator, but I want to prevent this from happening in the future. So I went into McAfee and added uh, this connector as a folder that can always be accessed and not going to get stopped by antivirus. Now when you come into this folder, this connector folder, you want to look for uh, the type application and it's going to read MLMT Pro dash GS Pro connector. This is the application that you need to run every time to have your connector come up and it's very straightforward. It might just seem like a lot but you don't have to do almost anything except for just run this application every single time. This is what the connector looks like. All right, you've got various settings in here. If you're using the Rapsodo MLM2 Pro like me, you'll want to do this Bluetooth method right here. This is the easiest way to connect to it. But you can see it works with all of these uh, launch monitors as of right now, which is really cool. A lot of people prefer to use this connector right now because the webcam putting is so good and it is stable. There are no settings that you have to change in here minus just selecting your launch monitor, Rapsodo MLM2 Pro BT is Bluetooth. So that's the connection method we're gonna use. Um, and so we can just close that window now that we've already set it up. It did say I have to reset the connector. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. Just open up that application one more time. <laughs> okay. So now the connector is ready to use. It's simple. The next thing you have to do is actually come into your Rapsodo MLM2 Pro app, connect to it as you would. I like to connect to the app every single time and start a practice mode session so that I can align my unit to my impact screen. I'll pull up GS Pro first, go to the driving range, and you can come back to this and you'll understand what I mean afterwards. But I'll pull up the driving range and then I'll open my Rapsodo MLM2 Pro app. And so that way I can point uh, my alignment directly at the flag and so then I know when I go into GS Pro that aiming at the flag in GS Pro is going to be a dead straight shot with the Rapsodo MLM2 Pro. It's a great way to get your alignment. I actually I really like using Rapsodo's alignment feature specifically for GS Pro. So you can do it that way but if you're someone who has your unit in a fixed place and you don't have to align it every single time all you actually have to do is come into third-party apps and you have to authenticate Awesome Golf. 
And you have to authenticate Awesome Golf um, because that sends a token to your unit that says it is okay to use with Awesome Golf. The way the connector is set up, um, it uses the exact same token as you would use to connect to Awesome Golf to connect to GS Pro. You do not need an Awesome Golf subscription, but you do need a Rapsodo MLM2 Pro premium subscription. So you do need that $200 a year or $500 lifetime membership to be able to use any uh, third-party apps, and GS Pro is included in that. So you're just going to authenticate, and then really important, close your app. Do not keep your app open um, because it will mess with it if you're connected to uh, the Rapsodo app but also connected to your computer. So close your app as soon as you've authenticated and it says authentication successful. And then you can come on over to your PC. You don't need the Rapsodo app any longer. So really important. Some people have issues with this. and I typically don't. I like sometimes I open my connector first, but the order should be open up GS Pro and then open up the connector. Um, don't try to connect to GS Pro if it's not open yet. So. We're going to open up GS Pro. You're going to see the same window that we saw last time we opened it up, but it should be a lot quicker. It doesn't have to update this time. Choose your resolution, whether you're going to be in this full screen mode here or you're going to do a windowed mode. And like I said, if you do a windowed mode, hit Alt Enter and you'll get a full screen, no borders, and it'll look really nice on your projector. So run GS Pro, hit your Windows key. And uh, then you can pull up your connector. So you'll see this API connect come up. We need that. Notice right now it's got a red bar at the top of it. All right. We're going to open up our MLM2 Pro connector. Our connector is going to come up. See how we have that red bar at the top right now? As soon as I hit connect, it turns green. So that means we are connected to GS Pro. So the connector is connected to GS Pro. Now we're just going to hit start right here. And you're going to see a couple of different things. This RSSI number, negative 87, is our connection strength. So right now we're connected. I'm probably going to lose connection though. And I have another separate video on this that I will link up here. But guys, the Bluetooth connection that comes off the MLM2 Pro is not the strongest. I highly recommend getting a Bluetooth dongle, a Bluetooth extender. I'll put a link to that in the description as well. What I have is this uh, Bluetooth dongle as well as a 10 foot uh, USB extender. And I'll plug one end into my PC and then the other end is gonna sit right next to my MLM2 Pro as close as I can get it. And that's gonna boost the signal. And this device is plug and play. It might not be necessary for you if you can get your PC really close to your MLM2 Pro, but this improves the stability. It makes me get connected faster and it makes me stay connected. So personally, this is the way to go. And you're gonna see here, as soon as I plug this in, look at that, my connection goes down to negative 56. Uh, the lower, technically the lower the number, the better. Negative 56 is gonna be better than negative 90. At negative 50 something, no disconnects whatsoever. Now, if you want to make sure that this is working properly, because sometimes these don't work properly, you'll want to go into your device manager. TP-Link is the one, TP-Link is the Bluetooth extender we're using. Um, if it had this little symbol right on it, that would mean that it wasn't working properly. Um, sometimes other Bluetooth devices interfere with the Bluetooth extender. So you would have to go through and disable all these other Bluetooth devices. Don't worry, it won't do anything to your device. If you're just using this computer for GS Pro, I would just go ahead and disable all that, and then you'll see that instantly your connection will go down. You shouldn't have to download any drivers. This Bluetooth extender is pretty much plug and play, but I highly recommend it. It will improve your experience with GS Pro. Um, and that's it, guys. We're connected. Quickest way you can access a course on GS Pro just to start hitting a ball or test something out is the driving range. Take yourself straight to the practice range. It loads up extremely quickly. Less than a minute on any device that I've used. And we're on the driving range. I'm just going to hit a shot here just to show you that we are connected with no issues. Just like that. Super straightforward. Shop delay for me is pretty much the same as it is with the Rapsodo app. 
I don't notice any additional uh, shop delay. So it's really snappy, easy to use. And if for some reason it's not working for you, come back to your connector, make sure that you're connected, make sure that your battery isn't low. If my battery is low, sometimes I'll get disconnects. And um, if you want to set up webcam putting, like I said, I'm going to talk about that next. So subscribe if you haven't already. And I will talk about webcam putting in the next video. Yeah, guys, that's the intro to the Springbok connector and setting it up on a brand new device. Start to finish. If you follow that step by step, you should have no issues whatsoever. But if you do, let me know in the comments below and I will address them to the best of my ability because I'm a nerd with this stuff and I pay attention to all the issues people have in the communities, GS Pro, Rap Soto alike. I stay on top of it and I know quite a bit. So let me know if you have any issues. If this worked for you, let me know too, just so I know that I can keep putting out videos like this. And, uh, and since this is a brand new device, this time I did not just copy and paste all my settings for webcam putting. So I'm gonna take you through the process on how to set up webcam putting start to finish. This is the webcam that I use. It is the most budget option that I've found. It's like $50 now. I think the price has gone up since I've been recommending it because it was $45 at one point. So I'll have that linked in the description as well. You want a 60 FPS webcam at the minimum, in my opinion, because 60 FPS, if you experience any FPS drops, it will still work really, really well. Sometimes when my computer is overloaded or I'm recording my screen as well, the FPS can drop down to around 30 and it'll still work flawlessly with this webcam. A 30 FPS webcam just isn't going to cut it. Um, now, you can always go with something a little bit nicer too. I have been wanting to upgrade to something else. This one works really well if you have a table or stand really close to your putting area. I've got mine about four feet off the ground pointed directly down at my putting area. And I'm just going to go through the process on how to set up your webcam putting because it can be a little bit tricky, but it is extremely accurate and works a lot better than some of the built-in uh, putting that some launch monitors have. I see a lot of complaints about the Mevo Plus. I see uh, complaints about the SkyTrack all the time. People asking about if they can use this connector just because of how well webcam putting works. So if you've been interested in putting and if you're doing this whole GS Pro thing, I highly recommend doing it because I don't think auto putt is super realistic. I don't like aiming for a big circle. I like playing, you know, as real of golf as I can in the sense that sometimes you got to take your medicine, aim for the middle of the green and, you know, not mess with trouble, but you can still make a putt. So I think it's rewarding to actually put on the simulator. And uh, so if you want that, you know, extra level of immersion, highly recommend webcam putting and I'll be getting into that pretty soon here. But it's Christmas Day, so that's all I have time for. And to all my new subscribers out there, thank you so much. You know, we hit a thousand, well, and we've been going at this for about five months now. So I'm really excited for more to come with this channel. And um, thank you so much for being here. And Merry Christmas, everyone.